What is up guys? It is Jack, back up in this bitch with 10 Meters Fitness. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And welcome to the first in a new series of videos I'm doing. This is going to be the Microwave Chronicles, which as you can probably guess from the name, means me showing you various tips and tricks and little ideas for creating fitness food in the microwave. Getting things done quick and easy if you're on the go, because it's no secret, the microwave is super convenient and quick for getting things done like that. So, um, to get straight into the episode, today I'm going to be doing these Ainsley Harriet risottos. We've got the wild mushroom risotto, and we've got the broccoli and blue cheese risotto. And um, the macro breakdown is pretty much the same. Per per session, it's about 550 calories with pretty similar macro breakdown from there on in. And I'm going to say straight off the bat that I have pretty high expectations for these. Okay, Ainsley Harriet has definitely set the bar high with me as of in recent times with his products. And I think he's pretty fucking hilarious too. I, I love the memes revolving around him. But uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. Get preparing these products. Catch with you guys in a bit. So here it is, it's all done and cooked up right now. We've got the blue cheese right here, if you can see that. And we've got the wild mushroom one right here. So let me go ahead and get a, a little taste of this for you right now. Start with the blue cheese. Mm. Oh yeah! Man, ah, that is some damn good risotto. Very impressed by that. It's really, oh, the texture is amazing. The rice is cooked to perfection, so oh, the texture is perfect. The, the way it feels in your mouth is amazing, and the, the flavor is punchy, it's strong, it's aromatic. It's, oh, it's amazing, guys. Big fan of the blue cheese one. Mm. Right, let's go ahead and get a taste of the wild mushroom one then. Once again. Oh yeah! Very nice. Very nice indeed. It's a completely different experience to the blue cheese one actually. The texture is very different. Don't know if you can see that in the comparison. The blue cheese one is a lot thicker and more creamy. Despite them having the same macros, which is actually quite interesting. But the wild mushroom one is, um, the rice is a lot more separated and grainy and individual. It's like not as a thick of a sauce, but it, the texture is still very nice. It's still got that smooth feel to it. The rice is perfectly cooked. The timing it had in the packet was bang on point. It doesn't feel like it's gone over and it's like burnt the flavor out of it. It doesn't feel like it's underdone. And the rice is kind of a bit hard and chewy. It's bang on point with the texture. Really nice. Flavors again, strong, powerful, and a completely different flavor experience to the last one. A lot of the time when you get things like quick little snacks you put together like this, like things like mug shots or um, like bits of pasta or rice that you do in the microwave. Although they say they're different flavors, a lot of the time they end up tasting the same. It's not really worth getting different variations, it's just the same thing branded differently. But this time it is actually well and truly a different experience with each different flavor. And it's very, 
enjoyable, I have to say, for how little time and effort I put into these. And considering I made two in that little period of time, and this adds up to a thousand calories, which if you're looking for energy for the gym, that's fantastic. But anyway, guys, that's all from me for now. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I've been Jack Pretending Fitness, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.